Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right, so I wanted to just start off by letting you guys know since Jason and I are in the middle of a move right now, he will not be doing Anchor Watch tonight. If you saw our place, it's a complete disaster and there's just no way. But thank you guys for bearing with us and we will be back, I believe, next week. I know I'll be doing Hot Messy Topics next week, but just to kind of give you an update and we'll always update you guys in the community tabs. Now, with that, we're not back to talk about Anchor Watch. No, no, we're back to talk about Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky, who now a source is claiming that this entire split is fake for a storyline in order to maintain her role on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But she's not the only one in question because Dorit and PK have been robbed again. And I believe this is the third or fourth time. So everybody is questioning that as well. Now, I'm not saying that anybody's lying about anything, but I do want to bring it to you and have you comment and engage in the conversation. Before we jump in, do all the YouTube things, hit that like button, get subscribed. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so we've been talking about this alleged split for a while now, and it seems like every time before we get into a new season of any franchise, there is the drama, like going into Real Housewives of Potomac, there is the Candace Chris alleged affair situation. Going into Beverly Hills last year, we had the Aspen situation. Now we have this coming up. Now going, I, it's just like going into every single franchise, we have something new or at least the people who have been seasoned in their franchises know how to play the game and get the publicity around it. Either that or they have really bad freaking luck, okay? So for the Kyle and Mauricio split, why fans are questioning it is because it seems like they couldn't get their story straight, even though he tried to recant his original story, Mauricio, with TMZ when they caught up with him outside of Dancing with the Stars. But I believe the speculation around it is publicity for Dancing with the Stars, publicity for Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, publicity for buying Beverly Hills season two. Are they splitting? Are they not? Let's get into the story. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky are being accused of faking their separation for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, maybe even buying Beverly Hills. Now, months into their alleged split, which Mauricio did kind of deny just weeks ago on the Red Mic podcast before changing his tune days later, Kyle and her realtor spouse are facing claims of creating a storyline, a juicy storyline, which is expected to be a focal point on season 13 in an effort to save her spot on the show. In the trailer for the new season, Kyle's castmates are seen reacting to the news of her marital drama with Mauricio, with Garcelle asking if there was infidelity, would you say? And Kyle said, I don't know. My thing is, is I teeter on this because I don't ever want to sit there and like, be like, oh, you guys are lying about your split. And then all of a sudden we see that divorce papers have been filed. But like even Kim and Croy, that's so confusing. But for them, more specifically, I've heard rumors in the past about Mauricio with alleged infidelity. It doesn't mean that it's true. But these rumors go all the way back to when Brandy Glanville brought the tabloid when Lisa Vanderpump was still on the show. And she blamed Lisa for bringing the tabloid. These rumors date way back. So it's not like this is the first time we're hearing of Mauricio having an alleged affair or one night stand or whatever you want to call it. Kyle was also questioned by Dorit Kimsley, who we're going to, who we're about to get into about Morgan Wade's K tattoo. You put the first letter of your name on her body. What is going on is what she was questioning about her relationship with Morgan Wade. But then after Sutton mentioned the cheating rumor saying where there's smoke, there's fire. Mm. Mm -mm. And you even see in the trailer where Kyle and Mauricio seemingly accuse each other of having affairs. When Mauricio told Kyle, I'm just glad it's you out there having an affair. And she said, for once, it's me. Uh, okay. So there was a new report wondering, is it all for show? Because Kyle and Mauricio may have fabricated their supposed rough year for the cameras. An insider claimed to Life, uh, Life and Style magazine in their latest issue if you know Kyle, you know that she just wanted a juicy storyline to save her spot on the Bravo series. She knows what she's doing. I've also talked about this a little bit before, too, because Kyle and Mauricio have been in the public eye long enough where it's like when Mauricio posted the photo with his dad's alleged girlfriend, which wasn't his dad's girlfriend, 
but it was also not Mauricio's girlfriend. It was just a woman who ended up working at the agency, Leslie Vega, who is an actress. She was on The Sopranos with her arm around him. And he said that he just stopped in and left. And then posting the photo, it looks like, it, it does look like you're toying with us. And then with Kyle Richards doing the music video, the steamy music video for Morgan Wade, I understand you're shooting a documentary and she keeps on asking everybody, leave me alone. Leave this alone. I don't want to talk about it. Get a hobby. But then her and Morgan in the interview for the music video, they were like, oh, we're going to troll the trolls. If we want People want something to talk about. We're going to give them something to talk about. It's a contradiction, which makes you believe that they actually know what they're doing. Makes you believe that they're playing the PR game, which playing the PR game, one, it keeps you relevant. Two, it keeps your job. And three, it makes you a lot of money. As long as you're both in on the joke, why not play the PR game? I think that's the biggest question. Now, another factor in questioning the couple was Mauricio's strong denial on the September 28th episode of the Red Mike podcast, during which he denied a separation by stating, I mean, I certainly were not separated. We're not divorced at this point. We are not any of that stuff. And then the very next day on September 29th, he fully backtracked and confirmed the split to TMZ saying, we are currently separated. Um... Okay. Now, also in the trailer, Kyle is seen sitting down with her daughters, including Farah, Alexia, Sophia, and Portia, assuring them that they are a very strong family and always will be, and nothing can change that. But as fans may have seen, Kyle and Mauricio released that joint statement on Instagram following the news. That was a statement that said, in regards to the news that came out about us today, any claims regarding us divorcing are untrue. However, yes, we've had a rough year, the most challenging one of our marriage, but we both love and respect each other tremendously. There's been no wrongdoing on anyone's part. Although we are in the public eye, we ask to be able to work through our issues privately. While it may be entertaining to speculate, please do not create false stories to fit a further salacious narrative. That's exactly what everyone did. But also, again, I think with the woman's arm around you, and I think with running around with Morgan Wade, wearing the same clothes, being in her music video, I don't think that you need to do any of that in order to be in a documentary and I think that if you don't want that narrative out there, it's so easy for you to distance yourself. That way you don't have that narrative out there and your kids don't see it. And your husband that you're trying to allegedly work on things doesn't see that, vice versa. But I wanted to get into this next thing really quick because this is something that has a lot of people and Bravo Snarks, I posted this. It has a lot of people questioning. They said things we need to talk about. Coming up this season, when we already mentioned what Dorit's main storyline is going to be this season, but Dorit Kimsley continues to deal with PTSD caused by her home invasion, which proves especially difficult after she's robbed again. Now, if they're referring to another robbery, that's not the one where she was held at gunpoint. This is questionable because a lot of people thought anyways, when she was held at gunpoint, People were digging. A lot of people didn't believe it. I didn't think that it was fair to say that she was lying about it. I don't see Dorit Kimsley as an actress, but sometimes you have to be to be on some of these reality shows. But I didn't want to say that she was lying about this. They made off with a lot of her bags, most of her jewelry, all of the stuff. And you know that stuff's insured. So fans were speculating, okay, did they owe money? I mean, was it PK's alleged Vegas debt? Is that what was going on? But now I'm wondering when she they said she's robbed again, if they mean this is the third time because she's been robbed two other times before the gunpoint, I believe, or is this a fourth time? And if it was a fourth time, then why didn't we hear about it in the news before this show? Well, at least the descriptions. On top of this, she and PK attempt to work their way back from an issue that almost cost them their marriage. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, get ready because The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is coming in hot this year. And we, I think it is, I think it's our job as fans to figure out who's lying to us and who's telling the truth. It makes the show a lot more interesting to watch when you're sitting back with your Pinot Grigio. Okay. I love you guys. Comment below, smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.